Hi, thanks for joining me today. Are you finding step family life much more difficult than you thought it would be? Can you not get things done the way you want them to be done? You know, your way, the way you want to lead your life, the way you, how you want the house to be. Can, is none of it working out easily? What can you do? I post once a week, so subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and I'll let you know every time I post. When we become a step parent, there are often many problems that we could have never foreseen or imagined. We have a sort of built-in expectation about how things might be. We might have talked about becoming a family with our partner and when it actually happens there are a lot more difficulties to overcome than you had at first thought it's because people do things in different ways and we can be quite wedded to the way we think things should be done and therefore want them, them done that way and then when they're not it's upsetting and because the children were there before you, it's difficult to change. When you become a couple, uh, you, you, one of the th jobs that happens first is sorting out a kind of unified way of doing just about everything in our lives, like what we do for Sunday night supper, what we do first thing in the morning, all routines around food and preparation of food and eating food and going out and little routines around what we do with friends and things like this and as a new couple you begin to sort of rub your assumptions and expectations alongside your new partner's assumptions and expectations about what normal is and so gradually you come up with a new routine or a new normal for the both of you. And this isn't possible in a step family because when you come into the step family as a step parent, you have the all little assumptions and expectations, but the family have already started off on a journey, having sorted a lot of this sort of stuff out. The question is, what to do about it. And the first thing is to realise and recognise that this is just a cultural difference between you and another family. And that normally, in a couple relationship, you bring your cultures together and then the family starts. But in a step family, it's different. It's one of the big differences of being a step family. The cultures are already in place and there is a way of doing things. And if you want to change it, you need to undo what's been done and what's accepted and seen as normal and reform and do it differently. So once you recognize that they're not wrong and you're not right, then that can help you see it just as a cultural difference, a sort of setting up of traditions, what one does, and routines, the normal. So this is, this is what you're trying to solve here, the changing of traditions and routines in an existing family, to make them more in sync with what you find acceptable, which is a very normal process when two people come together as a couple. But how do you achieve it in the step family? Well, my recommendations are this, that you bide your time where you can, because life gives you opportunities 
to change things occasionally. And if you know you want to change a routine or a tradition in the family because you don't like it, if you can hang on, opportunities will come their way to make those changes. Like you all in every Sunday evening um, for what seems like a traditional supper. Then somebody takes up a new interest which takes place on a Sunday evening and this throws the whole of the Sunday evening arrangements into needing to be reorganised. It's at that point that you can come up with your suggestion as to how it could change to be in more in keeping with what you'd like to do on a Sunday evening. If you can just bide your time until life makes those changes for you, then you're not seen as the instigator of the change and that can be worth it. The other thing is to recognise what's going on and you don't like it and you want to change it, so you talk to your partner about it and you set it up as, an, as a new way we do things in this family. And to a degree, that will work. If you say, in this household, we do it, we're going to do it from now on like this, and that's explained to everybody in the household and in a, a kind of positive way, instead of criticising them for when they don't do it, but heading it up first and explaining what you do want and then praising and noticing when it is happening, then you can get a certain amount of change that way. And the third thing is to recognise that this is actually a job that takes place between you and your partner in setting up a home and setting up a life together. And this rubbing of the edges where you feel differently about things is quite normal and quite difficult to do with a load of kind of adultish children around who can understand what you're talking about and hear you and your partner slightly argue about the way you're going to do something. All of that's usually sorted out before the babies can really understand what you're arguing about. But when you're dealing with a sort of 8, 10 and 12 year old, then they can all understand. So you have to have your arguments in public, <laughs> in front of them, so to speak. But it is worth just recognising that this is all you're doing. You're just rubbing those edges off and deciding who wants what and how, how it's to be done. And it's not a disaster. It's just a negotiation. <laughs> oh, it is one of the big differences of being in a step family in that traditions and routines have been already set up and as a step family, you come together and there's quite a lot of jarring and it can be very uncomfortable and not what you want or assumed would happen. So it's difficult. We run workshops, sessions, an email response service. We write booklets and you can find the links to our social media and uh, website in the description box below.